guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be drafting the most requested tutorial video tutorial and that tutorial is how to make a wrap top or the upper part of a wrap top or a wrap gown or a wrapper whatever you are going to use for the gown part if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe give me a big thumbs up drop your comment down below so we are going to be drafting this using two in one pattern when making a wrap top, I will start by folding here into two. I'm going to start marking out my starting line, which is one inch. The next step is to start drafting our body length. So what we are going to use for this measurement is our shoulder to chest, shoulder to bust, shoulder to waist then the full length round chest round bust and round waist then for the you can use round hips then your round armhole then the sleeve length your neck length your neck width your round shoulder so my shoulder here becomes my shoulder line my shoulder to chest is 10 so i'm going to place my tape and mark out 10. my shoulder to to bust 10 and a half my shoulder to waist is uh, 17. so i'm going to use this 19 19.75 as my full length so i'm going to just mark out a straight line My round shoulder is, uh, is seven and a half. So from this seven and a half, I'm going to subtract by half an inch. The neckline that I will be using, I'll be using the standard neckline. That's three by three. So from there, I can achieve my desired neckline. My armhole is uh, 8. So I'm going to connect, divide this into two, that's four. Mark out my half an inch, like so, then connect my armhole. So once I have connected my armhole, my run bust is, uh, let me lamb also, it will not be confused, this is my chest line my bust line, my waist line, then my full length. My bust is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. So I'm going to place my 9.5 here. But before placing your 9.5, I'm going to mark out my dart. My dart is 3.75. So 3.75. That's my dart line. I'm going to connect. Then I'm going to go in. 
this side I'm going to go in by half an inch, while this side I'm going to go in by 0 0.75. Then on the bust line, I'm going to come down by one inch, then connect these together. So on my waist, my waist is uh, 30, 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5. 7.5 plus 1.25 plus 1.25. 8.7 that's 1.25 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.75 will give you 1.25 so i'm going to be marking a total of 9.75 on my waistline so this becomes this becomes my basic body you can see here i have not added my seam allowance so i'm going to cover my neckline so my hip is 42 42 divided by 4 will give me 10.5 i'll place my 10.5 on my full length so it will now go like so so I'm going to pull the hash line out so I'm also going to pull here out it will be something like this So I'm going to trim out So I'm going to trace out this whole thing So from now you decide where you want your wrap to be. You can label left, you can label right, right and left side. So from here you decide how exposed you want your wrap to be. So from here, from my actual shoulder line, this is my bust line. So I'm going to use my curve. So to achieve my my wrapped up uh, curve, either I use my pant rule or I use this universal curve rule to achieve that. So all I have to do is to place my uh, is to place my this is the center. Try as much as possible to mark out or to indicate your center. It's very important. When making a rough top so that you will know when you are crossing the line and when you are not crossing the line so this I want this to be from down here all the way to somewhere here because it's going to have a kind of a rope so I'm going to come down like so you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to take my So I'm going to do it like this. If there is any adjustment, I can easily adjust it when I still have enough fabric to do so. So here becomes my my wrap top. So because I'm going to add an extension to it, like uh, you can add how many inches rope you want it to be. So from there we can start adding things for our seam allowance so guys what we are going to do is just to add our extension here and also add our extension this side so that we will manage our paper so let's get started firstly
but if you don't want to make your crop top to have a long rope just top here mm -hmm. add your seam allowances on both sides just add your seam allowances before you cut everything all out you add your seam allowance half an inch here you add two inches here you add half an inch here you add half an inch here then your two inches here so i'm going to start here because this is where i want to add my seam allowance this is where i want to add my rope so i'm going to use this and hold then uh, use a masking tape you can see what i'm doing i'm not pinning all around just a little bit here so i'm going to measure the length of the rope that i want oh my god this is super long So this will be 33 and a half. So I will just use my marker, just call to just curve here yes, so that it will have a curve. Yes. Then from here I can start uh, So also from this full length, I will start marking out. So I want mine to have a kind of this shape at the down part. So once I'm done, I'm going to trim out and then start adding my seam allowance. So this now becomes our new wrap top. When you want to cut out on your fabric, you fold your fabric into two. So because this is going to waste our time and also our paper, I'm just going to label no seam allowance, no seam allowance here. Try as much as possible to put your arrows. No seam allowance. No seam allowance. So here is supposed to be 2 inches. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Arrow. Then here, I'm going to use 0 0.5 because I'm going to use a lining to turn it up. So... After the whole process, I'm going to place it on my fabric and then cut it out. So I have a shortage of uh, 8 inches, a whole 8 inches. So I'm going to just start cutting it out. So this is folded into two. This is folded into two. So I have trimmed out the the what's it called? I have trimmed out my fabric from my pattern. So I have now shortage of this because of my fabric and I don't want to join anything here. So I'm just going to you know label the front and the back. 
because I used the wrong side of the fabric to cut it out. So this is the right side of the fabric. And I'm also going to use this pattern to cut out the back. So when cutting out the back, all I have to do is to just start folding in the ropes. So, okay, first, before cutting out the back, let me show you guys how this will look like. So this is how it will look like. You can see here is not all that um, down. Then after making your after making your wrap top, you can decide if you want to trim it down. So from here, you can just trim everything to be deep. Here we have zipper. So I'm going to just pin it down. After pinning my pattern on my fabric, I made sure that I gave some space for my seam allowance and also for my zipper. I used my chalk to mark out the actual pattern on my fabric. Then after I removed the pins, then add my seam allowances to it and I adjusted my back neckline. So I used half an inch for my back neckline, then add my seam allowance and then cut it all out. So if you are rich to this stage please make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up and drop your comment down below so if you're not going to add zipper on this don't add your zipper allowance to it so right here i'm making sure that everything is good to go and also the front panel matches with the back panel So right now we are going to go to the sewing machine. So here I'm joining the two shoulders together. You know that we have four pieces. So match it up and stitch the two shoulders first. So after stitching the two shoulders, I did my I measured my armhole, readjusted my armhole length. Then on the back I stitched the two backs together. Then after stitching them together, I will use my bias to bind the neckline. So first of all, because I have stitched the two shoulders, that's why it's easier for me to, to start binding with my bias on the neckline. So you can as well use a matching color bias or whatever color you want to use but i decided to use this so that i can give my inner fabric a spiced look so right now i trimmed out the ssc so that the place will not be bulky then after i turn my bias upside like i use that you can see that i i was using the right side but it was not going through then i flipped it up and started using the wrong side to stitch down my bias so for the sleeve i decided to remove or trim down the sleeve because the video was too big and bulky and i don't want you guys to be so bored watching this tutorial that's why i decided to separate the two together so the sleeve part will be dropping soon after this So right now, I'm stitching the two sides together, the two side seams together using two inches that we added on our seam allowance on the side seam. So I'm going to repeat the same procedure on the other side by also stitching with two inches. So right here, I'm marking my front dart. Remember that we used uh, 1.25 for the front dart and 1 inch for the back dart. So after I repeated the same thing that I did on the other side and also on the back 
that please when making your dart make sure you are using the wrong side to avoid sorry that touches the heart this is the easiest wrap top you can ever make and also if you are using your lining please try as much as possible to be careful and repeat the same process that you did on your fabric also on your lining so after stitching my dart i now i am now stitching up the finished look with my bias because i have stitched my side seams and also my dad's together so there is nothing else left for me except to finish it all up well at the end the rope was super long for me so I, it was kind of giving me some you know some vibe that yeah 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 i did it i did it well <laughs> so i tried to finish the edge the other edge by by turning it up then finish it so that that place will not have a rough look and also remember i didn't use um lining or any interface for this you can see how the inner is looking super cute so guys i'm going to show you guys um a video on the the wrap top with a sleeve and the wrap top without a sleeve so that you guys will know which one you will go for and give me a thumbs up and subscribe.